Hello guys, this is Jay from Mixtuff and I hope you are doing good. So in my previous video we saw how to control LEDs with the help of an Android. And as promised earlier, today we will see how to control LEDs with the help of voice commands. So first things first, requirements. So again this time we are only going to need a handful of things, uh, an Arduino board a bluetooth module HC05 the same one which we used in my previous video a couple of wires or jumpers a breadboard and a LED this time we are going to use a RGB LED instead of the common LEDs used before in my previous videos and there are two types of LEDs actually available in the market the common cathode one and the common anode so here in this video we are going to use the common anode RGB LED so without wasting our time let's get started so as you could see in the image the VCC and the ground of the Bluetooth module goes to the VCC and the ground of Arduino and the TXD and the RXD pin goes to pin number 1 and 0 of the Arduino board so coming to the connections of our LED the second terminal is the longest terminal and the second ter the longest terminal goes to the VCC of the Arduino board as I mentioned this is a common anode RGB LED so the second terminal will go to the VCC of the Arduino if it was a common cathode one then the longest terminal would go to the ground pin of the Arduino board and the other three terminals goes to any of the three digital pins on the Arduino board uh, each terminal representing the uh, red color, green and the blue color so taking our first component that is the bluetooth module we mount it on the breadboard We take our first jumper and insert in the VLC column of the Bluetooth module and connect it on the VCC of the Arduino board. Then we take our next jumper, connect the ground part of the module then the RXD and the TXD pins of the Bluetooth module well we won't connect these two pins for now the reason of not connecting them well you will understand it in the later part of the video so coming to our next component our LED so uh, as I mentioned there are four terminals on the RGB LED but let me show you so here is our LED As you could see the second terminal is the largest one which goes to the VCC part of the Arduino and the first, third and the fourth part denote the red, green and the blue color. So we mount our LED. Okay. Come on. Okay. We first connect the second terminal which is the VCC one and I'm connecting it to the same column where our module is connected okay hold on a second yes okay fine then we connect our red terminal to the digital pins on our Arduino board well I am going for pin number 9, 10 and 11 as they are PWM pins and they are in order. So the first 
terminal which is the red one goes to pin number 9 the third one which is our green terminal goes to pin number 10 and the last one goes to pin number 11 so yes it looks like mess but don't worry so we are done with our connections and let's move to our coding part so here is our code so we have defined voice as string instead of int obviously then we have defined the green blue and red pin as 10 11 and 9 pin numbers on the arduino then coming to our void setup part we have defined the green blue and red pin as output pin and this is just for turning off the LED in the beginning then coming to our void loop part if any data is available then read the data and if the voice length is zero which means if it is receiving any data then serial print voice which means the command which we give to it it will get written in the serial monitor over here in the top right corner you can view the commands given by you in the serial monitor when it is connected to our Arduino board so if the voice is red then the value assigned to red would be 0 green 255 and blue 255 while 0 indicates the lowest intensity it would be almost off and 255 indicates the highest value the LED will be glowing brightly so the thing is we are using the common anode LED over here so instead of those values we are just going to reverse the values so we are assigning 0 the value 0 to red 255 to green and blue which means the current would be flowing from the red terminal and not green and blue similarly over here green and blue you could see the color which we wish for example here green we have assigned the value 0 to green in case of common cathode LED we would be assigning value 255 to green and 0 to red and blue similarly blue and white if you want it to glow as a normal LED so we have assigned the value zeros to all of the three if we give it a command as good night then the LED would be turned off as value assigned are 255 to all the three if the voice command given by you is chameleon then it would then this part would make it fade and the LED would be changing colors just like chameleon this is the part for chameleon and changing the color fading form and this line resets the variable after initiating the process so this is it this is the code we are going to run so now let's move to our testing part so now that we are done with our connections and coding let's just move to our testing part but first we need to connect our android to the bluetooth module so we take our android and we open the app called as AMR voice well you could get it for free on the google play store we'll just go ahead the app will automatically enable bluetooth now here we have options we go to connect robot 
will scan for devices it says no devices have been paid so we'll just go to settings go to bluetooth and here it says hc05 let's get connected here it would ask you pin and it has already given us the hint that it's usually double zero double zero or one two three four I'm gonna go ahead with one two three four it has successfully paired with our Bluetooth module so let's go back to AMR voice Let's connect to HC05. It says connecting and it has connected to HC05. So now we could give commands to our Arduino and we will be able to control the LED. So let's just proceed further. So you could see that the LED light on the Bluetooth module has started blinking at a slower rate which means that our device has been successfully paired with the Bluetooth module. So let's just try green. Green. Whoa, that's too bright. Red. blue white chameleon you see when I say chameleon it starts to fade it starts changing its color that's what we have written in the code so finally turning it off good night And yes it worked perfectly as we planned so we just remember one thing that you should connect the RxD and the TXD pins after uploading the code take care of that and if you want to control a normal LED instead of just this RGB LED then the connections will be same and just the code will be different if you want the code it is available on my website i have given the link in the description below for both of them for the normal led and the rgb led so just visit the links and if you found the video helpful and easy to follow then please just like and subscribe my channel more interesting videos are coming soon until then, adios, sayonara, goodbye, bye-bye.